We're going to, as we've talked about, potentially knock on your door, potentially call you. Dr. Ted Long is the executive director of New York City's Test and Trace Corps. It's a group of more than 3,000 that aims to follow up with every person who tests positive in the city. So far, working primarily over the phone, they've had about an 89% success rate getting in touch with people that test positive and all their contacts. But ideally, to stop the spread, you want to be a little bit higher. So over the last two weeks, 200 community engagement specialists have begun carefully going door to door. Door. Our tracers going to knock on their doors is one way for us to get through to them if we weren't able to by phone to get them enrolled in our program and to ask how we can help. But the mission of the Test and Trace Corps can only be successful if test results come in quickly. And as you've likely heard by now, national testing labs have been busy as cases spike throughout the country. The problem is not as bad in New York because the state and city have set up so many local labs. There's a backlog of around one to three days in New York. But as Governor Cuomo acknowledged this we week, it's still a concern. About 30% of our tests are done by national labs. That 30% is getting longer. It is. Because it's running into the national backlog. Long says New York City is doing everything it can to speed things up, like testing samples in batches. But the bottom line, he says, is. We need to be getting tests back quickly so that we can get through to people quickly, so that we can get them to isolate. The governor also sounding the alarm that as a nation, we need to boost lab testing capacity before flu season because once all those flu tests start coming in, the labs can't just focus on coronavirus and the backlog will get even worse. But that's a national and local crisis. Live from Kings County Hospital, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.